Back to form there, Oasis, and little by little, this <laughs> is XFM 104.9, I'm Ricky Gervais, who are you? Uh, my name's Steve Merchant, good to see you. Thanks. Uh, with us, uh, the producer in the studio is a Carl Pilton, and he'll be doing the buttons. <laughs> yeah. You made a good effort there, but, uh, <laughs> once again- <laughs> Got bored. <laughs> words of your enemy, Rick, <laughs> and they defeated you once again. <laughs> Yes, run out of steam oh, with the sentences. Every week I think, well, I'm really gonna make an yeah. effort now, I'm gonna- I've, I've chosen some records, yeah. that's it. That's it, that's as far as yeah. it goes, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Maybe you should write out what you're gonna say at the top of the show. <laughs> write that out. <laughs> Get a nice no, big crayon. Be, I like to keep a little bit of, you know- a little bit of something, a little bit of spark, yeah. a little bit of liveliness to it. Yeah, sure. yeah, sure, yeah. sure, sure, sure. How yeah. are you? Good, to, good to good. see you. Yeah, it's great. It's great to. Uh, <laughs> it's great uh, to be out, bit. <laughs> out of the house <laughs> <Yeah>. again. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Just um, I was going to say because we've been doing this uh, for a long time now with a little break. Um, but XFM are bringing new listeners all the time. I've heard four or five a week. Really? <laughs> yeah. New listeners wow, tune in alive. to XFM one hundred four point nine. Beware. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and uh, yeah, we might take it for granted the people that know who we are, know who you are, know who Carl is. Sure. Um, oh, now if, if if you you know if you're a regular, then you know exactly who we are. But um, for those of you who don't, uh, I say I'm, I'm Ricky Gervais. Ricky Gervais, a uh, BAFTA award-winning actor and, yeah, uh, yeah. and writer, Steve Merchant, um, all, all those a friend of yours. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and. This is the important thing. Carl Pilkington. Absolutely. Our, um, produ I say producer, he was the bloke who was lumbered with a job. When I said, listen, I see I used to run the desk in the old days, when I, was like, I used to press the buttons and run the desk and everything, and now I said, listen, I've been on the telly, I do not press my own buttons. And Carl said, well, I don't really work weekends, and they went, well, you do if you want to keep your job. Absolutely. And we were lumbered with him. And then we discovered that he's not just a, a little, like a little Doc, a little manky sort of idiot. Sure, he's sure. got, he's got nice shirt. He's got, you know what I mean. He's got something else. That's he's got a certain, another dimension. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, he he started having a little chat, and we discovered that he had him. quite a lot to say. Mm. Well, I, I think actually right, and I think um, I was wondering maybe we, we should maybe play another tune. But after that, I just think we should re-familiarise our radio audience with yeah. Carl and any new listeners. Just get let, you know somehow going to let them get to know the real Carl again. Well, if you are new, you'll, you'll find that we like some uh, old songs, some new songs, some chit chat. Uh, we get serious sometimes. There's oh, some yeah. tears and some laughter. Yeah. We kicked off with Oasis' new one, little by little. We're going to go <laughs> back in time now to Iggy Pop and his Stooges with "I'm Bored." Iggy Pop on board on XFM 104.9. I'm Ricky Gervais. Steve Merchant here as yeah, well. Yeah, little Carl Pilkington. Mm -hmm. Well, w to reintroduce or introduce people for the first time to Carl, um, I think we should have a. Yeah, a maybe sort of a kind of a quick QA, Carl, and we don't need sort of lengthy answers from you. We don't need lots of detail. Um, right. You know, it can be uh, just a couple of sentences. Just to get to a answer each question. Of who you are. Yeah, so right. firstly, uh, name obviously Carl Pilkington. Age, Carl? I'll be, uh, I'll be 30 next month. Really? This month. No, next. Wh where are we? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we need to ask I any more questions. I think we've done it. That's I it. I think we've Welcome done it. Welcome to the world of Carl Pilkington. <laughs> I think. Oh, I thought it would take three or four I questions. I thought it was going to be at least. To really yeah. explain that was, that what was the first was question. About. <laughs> 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 oh, oh, Absolutely God. Incredible. But well, um, but you oh. know, like, we can't really leave it there because um, no. because we uh, we haven't uh, got enough else to do to fill yeah. up the two hours. So um, no. let's let's pursue this line of inquiry. Yeah. Uh, so um, age? What was the age, Carl? In a couple of months. When were you born? I'll be uh, seventy-two. Right. What month? What day? I'm on the cusp. <laughs> <laughs> You're on the cusp of the day. <laughs> well, um, twenty-third of September. Okay. Seventy-two. So anyway. Okay. Right. Good. And uh, you were talking there about um, obviously a star sign where you're on the cusp. You believe in that, do you? No. Nope. You don't believe in star signs? No, not really. But you do believe in ghosts, I understand. No, because Paranormal. the star sign- Yeah, but the star Ten. sign thing, you've got how many, how many different star signs, are they? Twelve, innit? Right, and then you've got, like, loads of people. Yeah. So you, you do the math. So they're saying <laughs> that, you know, there's only twelve different sorts of people in the world. Exactly. That's yeah. exactly right. It's- it's made up. It's made up nonsense. It's non-science. It's pseudoscience. It's- yes. It's- Sorry. it's-, it's it's- it's hairy man and, um, dyed hair woman science. Yes. Mm. Isn't it? All right. Yeah. Anyway, back to, uh, you, Carl. Where were you born? In, uh, in Manchester. Okay. What, uh, GCSE results did you get? <coughs> I got, uh, was it an E? I got an E you in got history. an E in history. And how, how did, did you, you find out that, that information? You found out. Cause you thought you- you didn't- you couldn't remember what you got, you didn't turn up, and you thought you'd done about three. One of which wasn't history, and, and actually- I knew I did art. 
Yeah, you didn't. I'm telling you, you didn't because we checked. Yeah. You did one. You turned up for history. You did history. You got an no, in I history. I definitely did art. I what? made a little clay man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got to register for O levels. You don't just do it and then phone them up and say, "I was that." Yeah. And they go, "I'm well, sending don't. you a clay man. <laughs> <what you think. laughs> yeah, Send me yeah. a grade." Yeah, there's all things. There's forms to fill out and yeah. things like that, Carl. Anyway, yeah. go anyway. on. Um, <laughs> who was your closest childhood friend? Closest? At what age? Well, when you were young, when you were. Oh, I remember this. It's a fella. Um, so there's, is there's, it someone making, isn't it? There's, well, he wasn't really a close mate. Darren Buckley was me. Darren Buckley? Yeah. He, he was me. Tell us briefly mate. about Darren. I've forgotten about Darren. He's the one who, um, all the, all the girls liked him. He Did had, they? Uh, he had permed hair. He used yeah. to have his hair like a footballer. <laughs> sure. Um, yeah. Were you jealous of him? His Were dad you was a copper. Did you hang around with Darren, like, in the hope of getting maybe his kind of cast offs? Nah. I, I, it's, it's weird with me. I, I, I wasn't that bothered about. Having loads of mates and that, I sort of. Sure. I had lots of mates, but I could do without them. You had a magpie, yeah. didn't you? I was, happy, spirit, didn't I was you? happy playing with my magpie. Yeah. yeah. What happened to him? It uh, flew away. Yeah. But yeah. I wasn't bothered because it was giving me grief towards the end, wasn't it? It was, <laughs> it was popping me my grifter tires and that. Yeah. Sure. Uh, <laughs> flying down, pecking my head. Sure. Now you went to school with a number of different interesting people. Uh, uh, some of whom two were of which, uh, freaks. I understand uh, had big heads and webbed toes. Is that right? Yet they were not related to each other and they weren't friends with each other. Why weren't they friends with each other? <laughs> because that'd be obvious. <laughs> <laughs> did they- did they wear shoes or did they walk around in their- <laughs> in their webbed, uh, Were they good feet? at swimming? Were they good at swimming? Uh, I don't know. I don't think they ever- ever went swimming. Did they ever talk- did they, did they ever look over at each other and think- Yeah, we should hang out more. <laughs> I told you, uh, yeah. something in the week as well, there was another cool. lad at school, had a pigeon chest. <laughs> he had a what? Can we come back to this? He had a pigeon I chest. I think we should play a record, Carl, cos we- I think we've hooked them now. Yeah. I think- I think- There's no one switching off now, Rick. No, play a record. <laughs> Blair, coffee and TV. Carl, uh, I said it's not the best Blair song when it, when it was playing, you know, I'm not- I don't wanna diss it, but, you know, it's not the best one, I mean, that's- Absolutely that's not. fact. Sure. You know. Yeah. Carl went, like the video though. A little milk carton. Yeah. Bit sad. It's tragic, isn't it? <laughs> he went, in the, this is all to himself. I'm not even joining in. <laughs> and then he went, yeah, but it's all right at the end. He goes to heaven. He finds a little girl milk carton. Just lives out a little thing and is. Is that yeah. like you on your paper round that little milk carton walking around like that? I imagine you. Oh, people don't know about it. If you just tuned in, Carl had a paper round. It's his favourite job ever. And he maintains it's the best job he's ever had. Isn't it, Carl? Wait. Go on. I don't know what's so weird about that. It's a paper round. Yeah, but. Look, look, forget it's not all the most that. Fulfilling of look jobs. at look at the way it works, right? You you get it out of the way at the start of the day, so you got the rest of the day to yourself. <laughs> cool. Um, <laughs> just the same as signing on. Your own your own boss. You know. Same as signing on. Well, you're not your own boss. The guy, yeah. the news agent, your <laughs> boss. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But <laughs> <laughs> no, you, you, that's you, great. You, you you've proven me wrong there. Yeah. Yeah, that's great. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nah, not really. Would that stand up in court? Well, you were found with the dagger. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Was I? Okay, wh when are we, uh, when are we playing a new game? Oh, Carl's got a new game. Carl's very oh. excited. Oh, just, just, we were just, talking about something before we Yeah, the, right, the freaks used to go, you, you had, uh, people with big heads, two web feet, didn't hang around each other, that would be too obvious. Um, you had a fellow with a pigeon chest. Mm. Yeah, what's the story with the pigeon chest? Don't know how it happened. It was like it, it looked like somebody sort of hit him on the back with a big hammer, <laughs> and it had come out at the front. Yeah, and I've never seen it since. Could that have been the answer? What? Why is why yeah, he had it? Why had it? Possibly, I suppose, in your neck of the woods. Yeah, don't know. Never asked him. It's just come back to haunt you, has it? The pigeon chest? No, it's just that uh, you know when you when you mentioned about kids at school, I forgot all about him. Mm. You're talking about the kids with the web feet and the big heads. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, I forgot about the little old uh, the pigeon, chest, pigeon boy. Yeah, pigeon. Yeah. Boy. Well, listen, I, I, are you? I, I'm a big fan of that TV show. It's on digital TV. A lot of people won't have it, but uh, inside the actor's studio with James yeah. Lipton. Yeah. And he's, he interviews lots of big Hollywood stars, and he always asks them these same questions at the end. Can I just run a few of them past you? Go on. Okay. So, um, if you could do any other profession other than the one you do now, what profession would you do? Uh, uh, can you just change that to apart from a paper round? Apart from a paper round. Oh. If you do any other okay. profession, Carl? Um. And it doesn't matter about like. Doesn't matter if you've got the skills or anything. I in an ideal world, if you had the ability. Well, I, I think I'm about to buy somewhere, so I reckon something you know, using using tools and like doing a bit of plumbing and that. So a plumber. Well, sort of an all rounder. Right, right. A, a handyman. Handy handy well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think 
you know, you don't get paid that much, but it's useful, isn't it? So- But you'd useful. get your own show, couldn't you, with Carol Smiley eventually? Well, well, all that, but the money that you don't make, you save by not having to pay someone else to do the chores, do you Right, know okay, I, mean? I, I don't know what that sentence meant. <laughs> right, right. No. A plumber, how much, how much is the average plumber on? The money you don't make, <laughs> you save on not getting someone else to do it. <laughs> no, just think of that, no, look, break that sentence down. Are there any- Sorry, Rick, sorry, but, uh, <laughs> yeah, people who live in glass cattle. houses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, let's just go back to Lipton quickly. We've got a couple of to get through here. Sorry, so, um, I'll your, 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 your favourite noise or sound? Uh, Favourite sound or noise? Ooh. Is it me? No. It's not uh, me? Hang on a minute. It's not me! <laughs> Are you sure it's not me, Carl? I like, I like Elvis. Noise. Elvis. Oh, in Elvis. The, in the ghetto. The sound of Elvis. Uh, Elvis in the ghetto. Brilliant. Okay. Yeah. And your least favourite noise or sound? I, I don't think it should really be records and music. Noises. Things that you hear uh, at home or whatever. Maybe like a sound of a- The least favourite noise. Least favourite. The sound of- Probably like uh- Sound of ghosts? Fire engines and that. <laughs> right. That's- that's annoying. <laughs> <laughs> Except if your house was on fire, presumably. <laughs> I think it's a bit unnecessary. <laughs> <laughs> you think oh. they're just doing it to wind people up? I live on like a busy street and it's happening all the time and it's- yeah. it is like- just sort of have a blast of it and people will hear it. You sure. don't have to keep it going. Yeah, so. sure. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. So that, that is, yeah, okay. pretty annoying. And, um, uh, if heaven exists, Carl, when you get to the pearly gates, what would you like God to say to you as he welcomes you into heaven? What would you like God to say to you? Uh, who asks these? What, what shows this? It's a program where, um, celebrities are interviewed by a guy, uh, an American interviewer, and he always asks these questions at the very end. What would I say to God? What no, would you say what, to God what, what, when, if, if you believed in heaven and if heaven exists, when you eventually go up to heaven and you're welcomed in through uh, the gates in by your God, in your stussy t-shirt and yeah. your- What do you want God to say to you as he welcomes you in? Say, uh, you know, right? uh, <laughs> don't know, just be, just be friendly. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah, nice stuff. Um, it's a kind of Scottish super group. Lots of different artists from uh, Scottish Sebastian, bands. Ben and Sebastian. Involved. Is Arab it the singer Strap. from them? Uh, it may well be, yeah, on that particular track. Different people, Mull Historical Society, Idlewild, Teenage Fan Club, different people from all those bands. Get together with a guy called uh, Gary Lightbody from Snow Patrol and he uh, writes and the And all tunes. that on XFM 104.9, Steve. Absolutely. Uh, let me just name that track. That track was Grand Parade from their current album, uh, Son of Evil Reindeer. <laughs> Feeder. Come back around on XFM 104.9. I'm Ricky Gervais. Uh, but who are you? <laughs> oh, thanks for asking, Rick. Steve Merchant. Uh, with us, Carl Pilberton. Well, Carl, um, now I know I shouldn't, uh, but I met Carl in the week ago. I, I told you you shouldn't do I this. Know. You know, you should but then when the he weekend. starts, he starts saying things like, oh, is this loud with the people? I go, no, save it, save it. And we just sit there and I'm scared to talk in case he comes up. But, um, you did tell me a couple of little things, didn't you? True stories that, you know, that, that I mean, I enjoy. Right. Could you tell, um, Steve about the doctor? Right. Oh God. Um. What's, what, what, is this something that happened to a friend of yours or is this uh. No, no, I read about it. You read about it, okay. Um. There's this little lad. Right. <laughs> okay. First of all, it's, it's years ago, right? When right, they didn't have, they didn't have decent doctors in like every town and that. Yeah. And uh. This little kid is dead ill, right? Yeah. And the local doctor. <laughs> Well, there's a phone call involved, so I don't yeah, really no, give the impression it. that it's like medieval, medieval times. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. But, but I didn't say that, I just said it's years ago. Go on, so man. this kid's ill, right? Yeah. And he's, uh, he's lying in the bed and uh, he's, he's all like, all going funny colour and that. Yeah. And uh, and his mum says, I'm gonna get the local doctor around. The local doctor comes round and uh, he says, oh, so I don't know, I don't know what's up with him. He said, um, he said, leave it with me. <laughs> with me. He well, said, the doctor uh, said that. I'll have a, yeah, he said I'll um I'll I'll phone up uh, a top doctor. Okay. Who was in America or somewhere like that. Yeah. And uh so he goes to the phone in his office and he calls America and because it's years ago the phone line isn't that good, it's all crackly and that right. Yeah. So he's talking to the doctor and he's saying, I've got this kid, he's a funny colour and uh you know, he's really weak and that. I don't yeah. know what's He's not him. giving him much to go on. <laughs> right? Sure. So, uh, so the American doctor, right? Yeah. He goes, yeah, what you wanna do? And it's all breaking up, right? Yeah. He goes, what you gotta do? You gotta, uh, it's all breaking up. You've gotta give him some, uh, 
parrot's blood, right? Some parrot's blood? Well, that's what he thought he said, but the line was really bad. Yeah. He meant parent's blood, but he, he heard that he said parrot's blood. He oh said, right, I'll, I'll, I'll do that, leave I, it with I me. I can see where this is going. He goes, he goes to, uh, you know, a pet shop. Yeah. <laughs> he says, give us like half a dozen parrots. Sure. Text them round to the kid's house, text the blood from the parrots, puts it into the kid, kid's fine. <laughs> The kid's fine. <laughs> I've it, never- It worked. <laughs> such a load of shite <laughs> in my life. <laughs> I've never heard <laughs> such twaddle, such <laughs> just made up, enhanced, exaggerated <laughs> bollock in what my life. A load life. of old rubbish, I Carl. mean, when he told me this, he said, the doctor said, what do I do? And the doctor on the other end said, give him some blood. And the doctor went, where do I get blood from? <laughs> So hang on, wait, you, I just need to- I just give, need Where do I get blood from? From his- give him some parents' blood. Give him some parents' blood. <laughs> give him some parents- some, some parents' blood. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, I- uh, <laughs> <laughs> But hang on, I just need to know where you Sorry, read this. Sorry, Carl. Where was this- where did you I read I stitched this? you up. You know when he said- he said, so do you believe it? I went, tell it to Steve. He went, do yeah. you believe it? I went, tell it to Steve. <laughs> Carl, but where did you read it? it? That- that was on the internet. What, about where is illnesses. it on the internet? Where, I'm what, what always looking at stuff. I was looking at stuff this morning because of um, because <laughs> of Yora Geller last night. <laughs> eating uh, eating all that funny food and that, and also uh, they all got a bit scared last night, didn't they, with a with a snake? Hmm. I didn't see that. Is this um, I'm a celebrity? Get me out. Of yeah, me? yeah. He got all worried about a snake getting on the uh, sort of wandering about in between the sleeping bags and stuff. Yeah, and. Um, they were all scared, and it is so Leave easy. Leave it with me. Sorry, the doctor says, Leave it with me. <laughs> leave um, it with me. <laughs> yeah. Uh, leave it with me. <laughs> well, they were all scared because there's a snake, and it's so easy to find stuff out. Before they, before they, where are they? Where is this jungle? <laughs> Australia, right. I think. Before they went, give it half an hour on the internet. <laughs> I found out with snakes, you don't need to worry, right? Okay. Um, they're deaf, they haven't got any ears. Right. So as long as you, you're really quiet, Creep it'll, around, it'll yeah. probably leave you alone. Yep. And also, they don't have eyelids. Uh huh. Um, so they were suggesting if one's coming towards you, just like kick sand in its eyes. Because <laughs> yeah. it can't blink and it leaves it a bit like annoyed yeah. and it wanders off. But they didn't do any research before they went. Yeah. And that's. that's your, your, I think your knowledge would hold you in good stead. I don't think you need to know any more than you know. Um, well, we're going to come back to that because he also explained to me where um, uh, a saying comes from that I want to, you to be part of. But, um, oh, and also, we should mention as well, Carl, you've come up with a, a competition, is this right? Brilliant competition. You, it, you, he, you thinks this, up? he thinks oh. this can go to television. Is this a good idea you've come up with? Yeah. Carl, I'm so looking forward to so, it. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Um, continuing uh, our exposure of myths. And, and Legends of Rockful Tale, we exposed that myth that some maybe older rockers have, have had it and they've got no- they, they were never any good and the yeah. kids today- Oh, I don't want to hear that. People like Rod Stewart. Rod Stewart's a great artist. This, uh- He's a slightly laughable man, but a great artist. Let's go back to when it was- when it was rocking. When he cut the mustard. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, Carl. Rod Stewart, you wear it well. Great tune. On XFM 104.9. Yeah. This doctor, I mean, we <laughs> should find out who he is, really, and if he's still practicing, because it, it worries me a little bit that he, you know, mm. he did that. Also, I mean, he thinks he's got away with it, but how could he be sure those parrots wouldn't talk? True. True. Do you yeah. know what I mean? There yeah, were six yeah. of them, they probably got together and they pro they probably put it on the internet. I mean, it, I, I feel that that story, Carl, <laughs> it, it asks more questions than it answers. <laughs> yeah, really. Like most of your stories. Yeah, that's the problem. I always feel them. I always feel like I need a little bit more information. Like, yeah. did the parrot boy continue to live? <laughs> yeah, you know, to a ripe old age, or did he yeah. die weeks later <laughs> after this charlatan doctor who was yeah. going around, you know, spurious? Did he break right. his nose trying to crack a big nut? Mm. No, I, th I think he's. Uh, he was all right. He, he lived to a. See, I'd have shouted if I was that doctor. I'd have shouted. That down the phone. Are you sure you said parrot's blood? <laughs> yeah. You parrot's sure it was parrot's no, blood? Listen, I, I mean, uh, you know, I'm not the best doctor in the world, but d d did you say parrot's blood? <laughs> yeah, but what you're forgetting is you're going back to the time where, like, they used leeches to do, like, no, 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 we're going back to the late 70s if there's a <laughs> phone call to America direct. <laughs> Come on, Carl, they weren't calling America, like, in the medieval times or, or in the Victorian age. Come mm. on, think about it, Carl. Yeah. You know, it's, this has got to be like the, the like, you know, 30s or 40s, <laughs> the earliest. <laughs> you know? <Right. laughs> 
<laughs> I'm intrigued to know where they sit. I think there's someone on the- on the web who's just putting information on there to lead you astray. Yeah. I don't- cause you're the only person who finds this stuff. Other people are using this to write what thesis. What were you looking up that then? What were you- what were you I'm looking- always, I always look up weird stuff. What were you yeah. looking for? But what do you type in the search engine to find parrot blood stories? What were you looking for? There was this woman with a weird head. <laughs> Why were you looking for that? What were you Just doing? Just because I'd heard about it. I'd heard, like, someone talking about it on another station. Right. right. About this woman with a- with a funny head. Right. <laughs> I love the fact- I love the fact you're intrigued with these things. You go in the basement of Waterstones or Dylan's or somewhere and there's these- there's these medical books that you're loving, mate. Yeah, but this is free on the internet, isn't it? It's all there. Yeah. So what do you typed in? Weird head woman or? <laughs> <laughs> Lady with head. <laughs> yeah. Weird- weird- Weird people or something I put in. Sure. Yeah. That did you did you come up? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Seven thousand uh, hits, Carl <laughs> talking to. Well it's all there, isn't it? It's interesting. The one that I was telling you before about um the what's the name? The the lost letter. The lost letter? What's the lost this? uh lost postcard that's uh just turned up. Some yeah. woman uh <laughs> sent a postcard years and years ago to to a niece or something, right? Yeah. And and a niece was like three years old sure. back then. And just now, like, I think like yesterday or the day before, it turned up, the postcard turned up 74 years late. 74 years late? It took 74 years. And that years. three year old girl's been living in the same house that whole time. <laughs> well, that, yeah. Sure. <laughs> There's no way You see about what that. I mean? Where there's always a question you can ask <laughs> to just scratch the credibility of these stories. Yeah. There's always. It's like the apocryphal tale. Was this the is slugs? It, was this those slugs from last week? Yeah, were they were holding stealing... back? Because they're slow. Because the postman slug is useless. His round takes him 74 years. Then he's got to go back to the beginning. He's got 74 years. And they can't carry the band. But that's why they go. That's why they turn to glue. That's why they turn to glue. Oh. It's pitiful. It is pitiful. So, so you don't believe that someone sent a postcard years ago <laughs> and somehow it's been stuck in the bottom of a post bag or something and it's only just- Stuck in the bottom of a post bag? Yeah. That means that there's like an, a 95 year old postman who's still yeah. wandering around. Did, 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 did you- did you have to pay like the- the difference and the charges? Uh, Cause presumably the, it, it was- It wouldn't have had Queen Elizabeth's uh, It was, it was a penny on, black, it? presumably, was it? Yeah. <laughs> what would be on the stamp? It would have been invalid, surely. <laughs> I don't know. That's See, these are the what. questions no, you should no, ask no, no, yourself. Because no, no. if on. it's the postman's fault, the post no, office can't turn out. Who was out. He's three dead. at the time himself, wasn't he? He was dead. No, he is dead. Yeah, he'll yeah. be well and truly dead now. Yeah. But the fact is that the post office made an error, <laughs> right? They lost this letter. Sure. Mm. It's only just turned up. They can't turn around and say, sorry about this. I hope it isn't urgent. Um, <laughs> it, it's turned up 74 years late, and by the way, you owe us 25 pence. Yeah. Yeah. They wouldn't yeah. do that, would no, they? No, that's so, true, that's true. So that's true. You you're asking questions, though, you see? That's- that's true, you see? So, t um, you, you're interested in, like, where sayings come from as well, aren't you? Cause yeah. you- you told me one of the week, but that- I don't know if Steve's aware of that. Do you want to tell Steve this one? What's this a saying? Can we do this quiz? D Let's do, do this We'll first. do the quiz later. I know you're excited about the quiz. Let's do that later, but what's this saying? Right. Uh, what is the saying? Chucking a baby out with the bathwater? Yeah. Have you, know you that? Heard that, have you heard that phrase? Uh, don't throw the baby out with the bathwater. Well, yeah. 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 Right, wh wh how would you use that? Well, um, how would I use that? Don't throw the baby out with the bathwater. I suppose if you've- maybe you've been discussing something, you've come up with some plans, but you're slightly worried and, um, you know, you might abandon the whole plan, whereas there might be some ideas in there which are still worth retaining. Exactly. So you don't want to ba throw the baby out with the, the bathwater. bathwater. There might right. be something you can just change yeah. and you don't want to- yeah. yeah. A similar- you know, there might be a few ideas you can salvage from an, an otherwise worthless one. Well, the saying, right, comes from, like, years ago again. Mm -hmm. And um pre or post phone. <laughs> and uh <laughs> ages and ages ago when like you know the bloke worked in the house, you know, he was like the coal man. And then you had like <laughs> No way, it's important. Then then like the mum is like uh you know, she stays at home making the dinner, looking after the kids. Yep. yep. And uh and you've got like the little kid who's just growing up, just messing about and stuff. So what happens is back then they didn't have like fresh flowing warm water every day. Mm. So all they could do, they could only afford to have like um, one one full big bath of fresh water. So they'd fill up the bath, right? And then the dad would come home and he'd say, oh, I've had a right, you know, I had a tough day at work and that down the pit. And uh, his wife would say, it's all right, I'm putting the dinner on. You're gonna mm. have a nice warm bath. So, because yeah. he, he gets to bath first. Because he, he gets to bath first because he's the grafter. And right? he's covered in coal. He's covered yeah. in coal, so the water's like minging by the time he's finished. Yeah. Right? And then the wife says, oh, after all my uh, cleaning the house and doing the cooking, I'm a bit sweaty now. She's covered in dust and yeah. grime. She has I'll, the next I'll, one. I'll have a bath, right? Yeah. 
Yeah. At the end of the line, there's a little baby. Yeah, yeah. It's been playing out all day. Also got like little, uh, little grubby knees and stuff, needs <coughs> to have a bath. Yeah. It goes in the bath, right? But because the water's so dirty. Sure. They go and empty the water out of the window. Can't <laughs> see the baby in it. Chucking the baby out with the bath water. That's how it, that's where it comes from. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to say, Steve. <laughs> I heard this. I just, I'm just, I'm just. What do you think, Steve? Steve. So, <laughs> so firstly, that 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 sort of, I mean, oh, that doesn't explain. Where do you why, start? Well, You're that, struggling, aren't you? You're struggling. Where to start? Well, firstly, I can't see how we've now applied this to. I've you know, been the thinking of this. I've, I've been thinking of this for days, Steve. Waiting for you to I hear mean, this one. These coal mining parents did yeah. be negligent. Yeah, I, I learned they've left their baby in the bath because unattended. It, that's the way round to do it. The one covered in coal. Yeah. Has you go bathroom. first. Sure. You go first. Don't wash the baby and then get in that. Yeah. You, you, one covered in coal goes first. Yeah. That's the best idea. Yeah. Second most dirty one goes second. Yeah. And then the clean little baby. Yeah. I think. I think we should do him last because yeah. he's he's done nothing well, towards no, this family. But, but more than that, Rick, leave him to his own devices. Yeah. Jack, I'm just going to throw the water out. Yeah. In the bath. Don't check. Have you, first. Have you checked that the baby's not in there? No, I'm not Don't even going to waste my time You'd checking. See it. You'd see I'd it. I'd be able to see You'd a baby. You'd see a baby if in a there. If a baby was in here, yeah. I'd be able to see it. I'm yeah. just going to throw it out. Yeah, I'm not even going to look, to be honest, Jack. Not We've all had our bath. Look. Yeah. If the baby's in there, yeah. then it should be, be making careful, itself Jack. We have lost three children this way. <laughs> Don't worry. Where did you read that? Supergrass, Grace on XFM 104.9. Coming up in the next hour, Carl Pilkington's new game show. He's very excited about I'm this. I'm excited. I'm excited. We don't I know anything wait. about it, but it's but gonna he, be he's, dynamite. he's told me it's gonna be a winner. He's, you know, he said it's gonna go to television. Sure. Uh, I need some adverts, though. Oh, I'd love to hear some adverts. Can right? we have just two or three minutes of adverts, please? Please. <laughs> Vines there, Steve. On XFM 104.9, I'm Ricky Gervais with me, Steve Merchant and Carl Pilkington. Carl's g getting very excited, as we all are, about his new. Should we? Should we let him do a little taster for us? Well, I'm very excited about it. I mean, well, so, I, well, so the gist of it. What is it? What is it exactly? Right. Is it a game show or is it a competition? It's just, um, just thought it's something that you know you can play, and also people at home uh, can take part in it. Now, would they phone in about this, or they can just play at home while they're listening? They can just play at home. Okay. Um, you mean we haven't got any prizes? No, there isn't. No, I, I think we, we, could, we could get into phone in, maybe. Well, I don't know. Let's hear the game idea yeah. first. Yeah. Right, it's, it's music related. Okay, good. And um, what I do is I sort of uh, tell a little story. Okay. And that story makes up a song title. All right. Well, it sounds right. ambitious. So, um, is it a cryptic clue? Uh, could be. <laughs> Uh, say, say like this, right? <laughs> oh, dearie me. <laughs> oh, dearie me. Say like this. Right. This, this woman, right, she's pregnant. You know the answer to this one, so don't be saying anything. This okay. is just aimed at Steve. Okay. Right. This woman has a baby. Yeah. She's pregnant, has a baby. And the doctor's there in the, uh, in the hospital going, oh, yeah, you've got a, got a lovely little baby oh, here. you told me that this is, oh, this guy. Got a lovely show. little baby. Oh, oh. Um, it's just coming out now. You'll be able to see it in a minute. <laughs> And, uh, it's like covered in gunk and stuff. Yeah. And, uh, he's going, yeah, it's nearly here, it's coming out. I see, see it's a little head and that. And, um, he gets hold of it and it's full of all this gunk, right? The baby's full of gunk. Yeah, like the Covered are. in gunk or full of gunk? Covered in it. Right. And he goes, uh, here you go, get hold of your baby, and he drops it. Right. What's, what song's that? There's so much irrelevance there, Steve. I can't tell you. It's not a cryptic clue. It is not a cryptic clue. Because only, uh, I mean, the gist of it is that, relevant. That isn't the best one. That's just- Right. I mean, there is just, there's, there's things there that you were pro dwelling on and thinking of puns. Don't. Just go for gut instinct. What was it? What was that? Right, let me just, I just need to try and get the basics of this. There's a woman, she's pregnant, she has a baby. Yeah. The baby's covered in gunk. Yeah. Right. And because of the gunk, the doctor drops the baby. Yeah. And that's all I need to know. Yeah, that is all you need to know. Yeah, the um, pregnancy is largely irrelevant. <laughs> okay, what it's, are the what are the, the key birth, elements? It's the birth and the doctor dropping it that the irrelevant. The, the, the irrelevant birth thing. and the dropping of the baby. Yeah. Uh, I've n I've absolutely no idea. I can't think even begin it. to think, guess. Uh, think about what's happened there. Oh, Carl, She's had a baby. The doctor's. Please. Try to deliver it. He's saying it's a nice little baby you've got here. This is all irrelevant. <laughs> this is all irrelevant. Right, let me tell you this. So, so just to be fair to Steve, so he gets, he can get into your mind, right? This is not a traditional cryptic clue, <laughs> okay. logical problem. Or this is, this is Carl, what song am I thinking of, right? <laughs> right. 
That is Underworld, born Slippy. <laughs> I have to say, actually, that makes textbook sense. Yeah. No, that does yeah. actually- No, do I'm like sorry. The, do you like all the story about the- <laughs> the going, so what, you can see it in them and they're always just covered in gunk. Yeah. No, I agree there is some extraneous detail, yeah, but I okay. have to say- Yeah. That- Born was good, cause it was- th that's what- that's the look of it, was yeah. Born was good, yeah. And I Born Slippy- I- uh, no, I'm actually- I was quite impressed by that, Carl. I have to say, no, to be fair to you, I'm not just patronising you. Oh, well, I've got- oh, um, wow. I actually think that was really good, and I- I, I disrespect Ricky Gervais for slagging okay, that off, because okay. I actually think that that was quite well, good. Well, let's go ahead with it, then. I- I- <laughs> On your I feel we could- we could maybe open this up to, uh, to email correspondence, or, Okay, uh, or the let's phone go for it, then. Okay, this is Carl Pilkington's new game show idea. It's what- it's- it's, uh, it's just what's the song. <laughs> well, it- <laughs> Carl Pilkington presents What's the Song? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage, Mr. Carl Pilkington. Right. Okay, well, what's the song? Then? Let's, I'll tell you what, let's play a record. Let's, let's come well, back after that. Give out the number ready for him. Well, uh, you should make a note of this. Uh, you can email us. The email's up and running. Ricky.gervais at xfm.co.uk. Ricky.gervais at xfm.co.uk. Uh, what's the phone number, Carl? Have you got it's it? 08700 800 1234. Okay. 08700 800 one, two, three, four. Make a note of that and we'll, uh, we'll have a game of, uh, what song is Carl thinking of after this next track? What do you want to play? What have um, you got lined up there? Oh, oh, continuing, uh, again, uh, uh, old fogies who were good once and I Absolutely. won't hear a thing said against the new <laughs> kids out <laughs> yeah. there. It's not all new metal, is it? True enough. This is, uh, Cat Stevens, uh, a, a little known album, Mona Bone Jack On, and this one's called Trouble. It's a lovely mm. song. Cat Stevens, Trouble, from Mona Bone Jackon, uh, on XFM 104.9, playing some new songs, playing some old songs. True enough, true enough. Playing some old games, some chit chat, some tears, some laughter, and true. Carl Pilkington with his brand new show, What's <laughs> the Song? What song am I thinking now, of? Now, I-I'm, I-I mean, you're nervous about this, aren't you, Rick? I am. You're worried. Well, cause I, I've heard some of these clues before, I and they're, they're ramblings, they're sometimes, they're close to ramblings <laughs> of a fool. <laughs> Right? And it really is like those, what am I thinking? Yeah. Um. I don't know though, I actually was genuinely impressed by Born Slippy. I, I, I have to give him the benefit of the doubt. That's one of the better ones. Cause I, I, Cause that know. was short, sweet, and it worked. <laughs> Some of these, like, you say they're not gonna be quite as pissy. Some of them are like Emily Bronte novels. <laughs> um, now listen. We're just gonna go for it then. You do it and we'll just get people to call up. Cause I- I want- I wanna see the general public's confusion of trying to work out a well, why don't we, uh, why don't we- why don't you give us your- your next clue, <sighs> and then we'll play a track, and then we'll- we'll hopefully have people on the line after the track right. to try and answer it, and you can recap briefly. So give us your clue now for, uh, what song am I thinking of? Right, this one, um, it's about a woman, and, um, she's just normal, nothing wrong with her, or, <laughs> or so she thinks, right? <laughs> <laughs> but there's the twist. <laughs> Is this like the Tales of the Unexpected? And she's got like, you know, she's got a mates and she's having a normal life, having a good time and that. And then this thing happens, right? And uh, she starts to stink. <laughs> and she can't have a bath, right? And she really wants to have a bath. She's dead sweaty and stuff. She's trying to, she's going about her daily stuff. She can do everything else normal. She can eat, she can talk, everything. But for some reason, she can't have a bath. Is there a coal mining husband in the bath? <laughs> yeah. Is this born stinky? <laughs> she can't have a bath. So a woman can't have a bath. Yeah. Is that the rest it? Of her or life. a shower? She can't. <laughs> okay, and leave it there, Rick. Don't try and guess. It's not okay. fast to guess. Um, the general public can phone up and ask questions. So I just just I'm go not sure for they it. Can can they? I, think, I think so. I thought we don't want just people just um, phoning well, up let's and getting I'll tell you it. What about this? Why don't they can ask one question? Yeah. They can ask one question of Carl, then they have to make a guess. Okay. Oh, eight, 800, 800, 800, 1, 2, Have we got three, someone four. on the line now? We'll just, we'll just go no, let's do it. Let's, let's go, go for one. Let's go for one. This is edgy, edgy radio. This is letting Carl stuff. Right. Live, Hello. go on. Hello, XFM. Hello, I'm ringing about, um, what's the song? Absolutely. What do you think? Well, I'm going for Dirty Diana. Dirty Diana. See, that works. That's a great guess. It does, yeah, but it doesn't work because why can't she have a bath? Okay, so well, the answer is in there. I was going to ask you. Well, that's your one question. That'd be the answer. That would be the answer, I'm afraid. What was your name? Shelley. Shelley, thanks very much. Shelley, I should, I should tell you that, you know, that you should never take this personally because no one can really get into the mind of Carl, so <laughs> don't, don't, you know, beat yourself up about this. I don't expect anyone to get these clues. No. So, um, so well done. That a is guess. a fine guess. A Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Anyone else there? That's, that's, uh, hello, XFM. Who's that on the line? Um, it's Chris. Hello, Chris. Uh, a question for Carl? Before um, you I give us a hint, like, uh, I haven't thought of a really good question or anything yet. You just so want to go for the guess? Well, no. What I thought was, um, 
I'm sure Simon Mayo used to do this when he did the breakfast show on Radio <laughs> 1 years ago. No, he didn't. <laughs> so you've just pinched this idea, Carl. If you're going to rip school. someone off, Carl, do not rip off Simon Mayo. I haven't ripped this off. I thought this was a new idea. I was going to do it with sound effects instead, but that's yeah, a- Yeah, he used to do that and he used to get his team to play other characters and- You story. idiot. Well, no, hang on. The not you, not you, Chris. I'm- yeah. I'm saying you idiot to Carl. Yeah, but nothing's new anyway, is it? So, <laughs> I'm not- I'm not- I'm not getting annoyed about <laughs> it. True. What do you think the answer is? <laughs> um, is it Cornflake Girl by Tori Amos? Good answer. She couldn't have a bath cause she'd go all- she goes floppy, floppy and, and then go down the plug <laughs> Good answer. She'd so, go all soggy. Yeah. So, so it's not- is it Cornflake Girl? No, it's not, but that's, that's a uh, great answer. It could have been. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You're already seeing the error of this, aren't you? I think this like, is great radio. I'm I know. really hooked on this. I'm but genuinely this, excited. This now. is really like that. Um, uh, those uh, so-called lateral thinkers. A man got into a field and dies. Why? <laughs> yeah. Um, he ran out of air. No. <laughs> yeah. Not the one I'm thinking of. He was of. shot. Well, no. Yeah. That was a good answer. Well, couldn't, like Simon Mayo, like to you or something for doing it. Will you way? stop? Don't mention that. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. Listen, I think if you're going to steal ideas from someone, it should be a brain box like Mayo. <laughs> I mean, he's the man. Yeah, the only from. example of one I can ever remember here on his show, because I was quite young then, was um, some people were pretending to like tap someone's phone or something, and then they got caught, and the answer was just bugging by whistle because they were genius. Uh, yeah. That was absolute genius. That's yeah. absolute genius. Chris, Chris, gonna, that's that's the sort of standard you've got, got to come up against. Yeah. Uh, thanks very much, Chris. No the phone lines are hot. Hello, oh, XFM. <laughs> Hi, is it Candy Perfume Girl? Is it what? Candy Perfume Girl. Candy Perfume Girl? Yeah. Ca candy Perfume Girl. Is it- well, who's that by? Madonna. No, it's- That sounds like an obscure album track. No, it's it's one of their- one of their songs. Just that think about it. it. She- she stinks and everything. She's a normal life. She's- I didn't say she was a sweet or anything. Um, <laughs> but she, for some reason she can't have a bath or is a shower. Is this a big song? Just to give him a clue. Is it's this- a, It's a bigger song than, uh, Candy Sweet Girl. <laughs> Thank you very much indeed for your guess, it clearly is <laughs> Thank right. you, it, it cheers, was, sorry. A, it, w you know, we, okay, we, one, one more then we're going yeah. to a record, come right. on. Okay. Go on, hello XFM. <laughs> Carl. Yeah. Is it high and dry by Radiohead? High and dry. High and dry. Now that's great. She smells, which is another word for high. She's dry because she doesn't have a shower. Carl, if it isn't that, <laughs> yours will never be as good as that. He's the winner. <laughs> Whatever you're thinking of, that clue is brilliant. What's your name, mate? It's Richie. Richard, uh, uh, I mean, you can't beat that. That's a bit too lateral. Don't be stupid. <laughs> it's perfect. He's made yours into a clever clue. He's made- High, she smells. Dry, she never gets in the bath or shower. It's yeah. not that, is it, Carl? No, it's you not. You don't even get that, do you? Not have really. You ever, you, have you ever heard of the word high being used to mean sort of smelly? No. No, no. Oh, what? But that was where you went wrong there, mate. <laughs> Richard, um, well, I'm declaring you the winner, even though that isn't the answer. I don't think Thank we you. should give up this earlier. Can we just- uh, can, Let's play a song. And, let's play and a song. Give it, give it one more chance, cos yeah. if people think about it, it is really easy. So, I'm not gonna find out the answer now, cos I've gotta go out. <laughs> okay, we, we'll do it very quickly. Stay in for ten minutes. We're just gonna play a new, uh, okay. Coldplay track, out. Okay, let's play Coldplay and then Cheers. we'll come back with this. Bye. Coldplay. One I love. That's for, um, Nick, Neil, Olivia in uh, Tower Bridge. Absolutely. And also Nikki from Bromley who emailed in. She's enjoying the show and she, uh, she wanted a bit of Coldplay. That's the B-side of the current single. This is a great place. show, isn't it? We've got great music. We've got music. laughs, tears. We've got requests. We've got Simon Mayo games. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. a bit, it's just, it's just like Radio 1 for <laughs> exactly. less people. <laughs> exactly. Radio 1 for less people. <laughs> <laughs> this is great, isn't it? Um, so, so, go on, so listen, Carl, you were so excited about this game, weren't you, earlier? You, ca you came in with a but hop, skip and a leap in your, in your step. Although, I must say, the phones are going mental. We're gonna have to take this some more it. calls. No, people I mean, call. high and dry is great. I mean, it works. <laughs> That's it. A, can we have a very quick- Just uh, a recap in case someone's yeah. just- Yeah, yeah. Quick Can recap. you make it- can you make it so high and dry doesn't work now? <laughs> Give us a bit of information that makes it different to high and dry, or can't So for those that just that? tuned in, Carl describes, in a roundabout way, a story which somehow is representative of a song, is a that song right? A song title. A song title, yeah. okay. So, um, this woman, she's- she's- she's alright, you know, she has a normal life. <laughs> Pretty much. Kind of. Yep. Um, there's probably a few things actually that she can't do thinking about it. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> the main problem would be having a- having a wash or having a bath or having a shower. Yeah. Maybe going for a swim thinking about it. <laughs> Right. Oh. I think water is the clue, isn't it? That's the clue. <laughs> <laughs> right, so uh, who's that on the line? Hi there, it's Mark. Hello, Mark. Hi, Mark. Right, what do you think? It smells like Teen Spirit, Nirvana. No, it's not. That's a great guess. Smells like Teen uh -huh. Spirit again. It's also no. brilliant. Thank you, Mark. Well no, done. No, it's not that. All right. 
Hello, XFM. Oh, that's that's oh. that's a dodgy mobile. Oh, that's a bit of a clue. A dodgy Hello, mobile. XFM. Oh, oh, they've just given up. They, they've all been going for smells like Teen Spirit. Yeah. They just hung up. Hello, XFM. Uh, hi. Is it um she's electric? Excellent. She's electric. It makes sense. That's oh. fantastic. Oh, Ace, she's electric. Why does she smell? Because she doesn't have a bath and that. Because she can't have a bath or a shower. What's what's your name? Neil. Neil so got it. Fa so oh, Neil got God. it. So did you get it straight away? Uh, no, only uh, during the song. A process of elimination from all the other wrong answers. Yeah, basically. So she's electric. Rick, I have to say, you, you're holding your head in hand, in oh. your hands, and it looks like you want to shoot off. But I have to say, I thought that was quite good. I genuinely thought that was quite good. But it's not a cryptic clue, is it? Because it's not. All, she smells. There's a few things you can't do. She's electric. Yeah, but do you understand what what I'm getting at? <laughs> She's electric. <laughs> I always understand what you're getting at, Carl. That's never been a problem in the you know, the years I've known you. Neil got it. Yeah. She's I electric. have to say, Rick, I think you're down on this idea. I could definitely see that. ITV1 replacing Get Me, um, Celebrity Get Me Out of Here. Carl Pilkington hosting. Simon Mayo yeah. on the phone. <laughs> exactly. To the lawyers. <laughs> well, uh, well, Neil, there's no prizes or anything, but well done. Okay. Well done, that was well worth it. Right. Well, you go away with the award in the knowledge that you've beaten Carl. Yeah. You can get, secure in the knowledge that you thought <laughs> how Carl does. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Well done, Neil. Okay. I have to say, I, I think you're being harsh on him. I think that's, okay. a, that's a great game. Alright, let's do it again next week then. I thought that was a great game. Yeah. Brilliant. Well, play, play record. record. Play record. Uh -huh. uh, what do you want to play? Oh, you know, I tell you, uh, we've been playing some oldies, Rick, and I've enjoyed them all, but I think I've been in love with this song for many, many years, and when I saw it, reminded of it, in Con Air, the film Con Air, remember they stick it on in Con Air, and it's just dynamite. Leonard Skinnerd. I, I love this. Sweet Home Alabama. I'll oh, turn this up. Uh, uh, this one up. Say, crank it up. Turn it up. Sweet Home Alabama. <laughs> Leonard Skinnerd. Yeah. <laughs> Strange and beautiful. Aqualung. Or as Carl says, Aqualung. On XFM 104. Point nine. Well, it seems that Carl's clue, um, you know, did go down quite well. Some other people got it. Uh, the game show as a whole has been well received. Well, I have to say, the, uh, the email, you know, we've had, we've had loads of emails, Rick. You yeah. know, I mean, we've had, uh, let me just count two. Yeah. Um, <laughs> um, and, uh, one of them was aimed at, uh, Simon Mayo. <laughs> uh, <laughs> came to us by mistake. Uh, they yeah, thought they were listening to Mayo. Yeah. And the yeah. other is, uh, saying Carl, they love the game show. Radio One with less people. Yeah. Yeah. Um, wow. and, uh, so despite the fact it was a stolen idea, I think we yeah. should do it again next week. Just and like- Next week, let's, let's rustle up some prizes as well. You're just like your little magpie, aren't you? Thieving shiny <laughs> ideas. <laughs> from Mayo's <laughs> nest. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, uh, sorry. Yeah, we played Leonard Skinner just before the ads, and I was just looking at the compilation it comes from. It's a great compilation. We took this from, uh, Driving Rock. Yeah. Uh, which I imagine- This is not available in the shops. <laughs> exactly. Um, I imagine it's come straight from the personal collection of, uh, maybe Taron or, uh, Foxy. Or Canfield. But there's some great names on here that I'd like to see. Maybe we could There's a little them. Vance, isn't he? He's a <laughs> tiny Vance. Exactly. So, you know, like you're a little Mayo. Canfield's a little Vance. I mean, these are some names. Just Go don't- on. I haven't heard them for a long time. Go I'd love on. to hear them again. Go Alana on. Miles. Hmm. Black Velvet. No, rubbish. Rhea. You don't hear Rhea, no? Chris, Chris Rhea. Rhea. Yeah. Well, what one? Spin Doctors. Oh, God. Lest we forget the Spin Doctors. God. Crash Test Dummies. Hmm. What hmm. happened to them? Dunno. Uh, who else we got on here? Richard <laughs> Marks. Yeah. Mr. Big. I didn't- he's guilty in that song when he goes, I swear I did, and all that, and the police came around, well there's no smoke without fire, I reckon he did it. <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> yeah. I reckon he- I reckon he murdered her. You're absolutely right. Go on. Legs, ZZ Top. <laughs> She knows how to use them. <laughs> she does she indeed. She knows how to- it's what it is, it's electrical impulse from the brain. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, what, how is she using them? What's she's she just, she's just, um, it's, you know- The brothers do beer on her as well. Oh, isn't that- there's nothing wrong with them. No, absolutely not. Starship. Yeah. And, uh, Toto as well. Oh, what Africa? You it's not actually. What is it? Can you name another Toto track? Hold the line. It's Hold the Line. Let's hold rock! It. Put that <laughs> on! Is it, is it Let's good stuff? down! Uh, 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 <laughs> Oh, is it good stuff? When session musicians get together. <laughs> oh, we Can we hear a quick little blast? Oh, it should be, is that, is that this oh, still, play is a little bit, hold the line. It's that great. Should be, uh, that should be track, th uh, oh, let me see, no. that's probably track ten. I hope this doesn't annoy too many people. <laughs> like, we're worried. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. We like to give our radio slick. Is this um, it? This is not it. Yeah. Wake up with it. Right, yeah. 
Are yeah. we playing, uh... That was dynamite. That was great. We'll have some- I think we should have, like, a classic rock anthem every week. I- oh. Do you not I'd, think I'd, I'd love that? to. I'd dynamite. love to. Bit of rainbow, maybe, next week. Oh, Who knows? Oh, man alive. Phone in if you want to hear some classic rock. <laughs> classic rock, indeed. Oh. We ripped off Mayo, let's do dance. <laughs> Absolutely. Let's just uh. steal ideas from other better DJs. Okay. Um... Oh, what, what can we, we have? There's some great ideas out there, I'm sure. I, I mean, if you- if you want to, like, any fix-its done, <laughs> if you may want to eat a yeah. packed lunch <laughs> on a roller coaster- On a roller coaster, yeah, with some Boy Scouts. Or, uh, or, or, or or dance with banana rama. Yeah. Then, then <laughs> yeah. we're, we're, yeah. we're uh, Or five star. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I love the fact five star <laughs> reform. There's three of them. <laughs> Have you read about this? <laughs> no. Oh, Turn left. White Stripes on XFM 104.9. I'm Ricky Gervais, with me Steve Merchant, Hello. and Carl Pilkington. Well, I had a good time. I've enjoyed it, yeah, it's been nice. It's been some, fun. Some good tracks, some, some laughs, a new, uh, competition by yeah. Simon Mayo. <laughs> 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 that was, uh, Absolutely. That was great. Yeah, yeah. Carl, Carl, have you heard, um, the big news? That, uh, Ricky Gervais is, uh, looking to take up, um, well, you explain it, Gervais, cos oh, I'm not- Oh, it's not big not, news. No, I, What are you talking- what do you mean? You, 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 you want- you're taking up boxing, is this right? N no, no. What is uh, the story? You want right. to- you're fighting for money? No! What is that? Yeah, bare knuckle fighting. No, come on, what is it? No, uh, all it is, I've been watching this, um, show on cable called Born to Fight, and it's sort of, sort of right. late. <laughs> it's a late one. We flick around the, and I think it's, uh, on the After Roadies. Which is like- a, Yeah, it's a bloke, one bloke with a camera to goes on tour with different people. Like, he went on with Motorhead. He went with a, with a meatloaf, um, uh, uh, tribute act. He went on with Coldplay, was in one of them. It's that, and it's the is sort this of- this when, cheap like, all the other channels have been switched yeah, off? Yeah, this is the only yeah, one yeah, exactly, yeah. And there's one, uh, called Born to Fight. And, uh, they just, uh, take a different story. It might be, like, an amateur fight, or it might be, um, an unlicensed fight. Not illegal. Yeah. Um, or it might be White Collar, which I'm thinking of doing. What's, what's White Collar? White Collar is just people who want to fight. And, uh, it's organised. Is it like Fight Club? Yes, yeah, but it's charity. It, it's safe. It's, it's it's a charity do you know, having like big events, and it's just two people that you know aren't boxers, aren't amateur boxers, and they get in the ring. And they do three three um, two minute rounds, and they just lay into each other. They've got head guards on. And uh, Rick, I don't mean to alarm you, but um, you know we work together, obviously, and, and we make the office and stuff. Your face is my fortune. <laughs> I can't that, have that it. That must being, be a bit of a worry for you. It is. I'm not gonna say, well, your heart as well is also a concern. Yeah. You know, and you're eating and stuff. But so, when I said well, I was, no, gonna, what, what when I said I was gonna get fit, you were going, no, Gervais, you're only funny because you're fat. No, I agree, this is true, but I'm saying there's a degree, there's a difference between being fit. Yeah. And, um, and I would say, get for instance, face, don't, eat, well, don't eat, um, don't eat kind of, you know, uh, cheese and bacon, you know, <laughs> on their own. <laughs> All day. All day. Right. Or for breakfast. So, what I'm saying is there's yeah. a difference between, you know, exercising and then having yeah. your face beaten in. And yeah. what I'm saying is that you, it, I just don't think it's a good idea. But I might win. No, the pro- well, I don't- you, it, that's- that's- that's irrelevant. You're still gonna get- take a couple of blows to the face. And the point is this, Rick, you're not gonna win. Why? Because- no, because you are delusional. You think that you are probably the world's greatest boxer. <laughs> you are- I know- ever since I've known you, you seem to think that that's the case, because you've watched all the Rocky films. <laughs> And you think that's fair enough? That seems straightforward enough. <laughs> but look at your physique. You know, yeah, you've got some upper body strength, but yeah. you know, you've also got some upper, some <laughs> lower belly strength as well. I noticed. And um, <laughs> and my concern is, you're going to go in there, and you're not only going to be a broken man when you realise that you're just not as handy in the ring as you thought you were. Yeah. But also, you're going to you're going to incur some injuries. This you is wear fighting masks? talk. This is fighting talk. The first rule of fight club is don't this, talk about fight club. This one's we want to do it more now, just because of you. It was the same when Adrian didn't agree that Rocky could beat. Right. Clever yeah. Lang. Yeah, yeah. Oh, she, she made that mistake, then she made the same mistake at with, what with age, Drago. Rick? At what age? She turns up at the end to take a bit of the credit, didn't she? When you were this kind of thin, nimble youth, and yeah. your makeup and your eyeliner and all the rest of yeah. it, you, I bet you had no idea, you had no thoughts about boxing. It never came into your mind, did it? So at what age did you suddenly think, wait a minute, I've taken the wrong path in life. I could have been the world <laughs> I heavyweight. Don't, I don't think I could. When are you- when have you suddenly decided that you can- you- you can suddenly be a bit street tough? I don't understand why this has suddenly come about in- Well, I'm not putting out a shout, am I, to fight people? It's not- I've not- it's not like Noel but Gallagher you've got to find and Robbie some, Williams. But you've got to find someone else, presumably, to fight with. Yeah, but it'd probably be a businessman who wants to fight. Right. You know, there's something really weird about that. Don't you think that's like- if you- just listen to yourself, I want to fight another bi- I want to fight a businessman. <laughs> no, Please I may I wanna, fight a businessman? I don't want to fight a businessman! <laughs> you you I just said- I want to fight someone who wants to- it's- you know, I mean, it's not- I want to fight them, though! <laughs> I want to fight somebody! Did you realize it sounds a bit mad? Bring yeah. them on, I want to fight people! No, but it's more the- it's more the effort and the training and the commitment to it, like climbing a mountain. I mean, I think climbing a mountain and doing a marathon is ridiculously macho. It's not the fact that you can no, do it No, that's not go, macho compared well, to- it is macho, isn't it? 
it. Climbing, there's no reason to climb a mountain, there's no reason to do a marathon. If you can run a mile, that's all you need. The fact that you train is to whether you can do it yourself and achieve something. And this is more <coughs> like the training and the learning uh, skill and then seeing if it works. I, I don't want to get in there. To, but aren't you concerned about you might get beaten? Or you might get beaten up, I should say. No! What's the worst that can happen? Uh, it was You'll get black eyes, bruises and you- Wait, bruises- b bruises- <laughs> James, let me just remind you of the what? time we were working in your flat, <laughs> right? <laughs> and you immediately- <laughs> Right, I think- I don't know to this day what happened, but you started choking- <laughs> You clasped your chest. <laughs> you were breathing, <laughs> wheezing. Uh, right, I leapt over to you. I remember screaming. I don't know the Heimlich maneuver. Yeah. If you've swallowed something, I can't help. Yeah. You gained your breath. You gained your composure. Yeah, I said, yeah. "What happened? Did you eat something? Did you go down the wrong way?" You said, "No, I swallowed some dust." <laughs> I swallowed some dust. You breathed some dust in that was in the air. There was some dust in the air. You breathed that in. Ah, it knocked you out for two that. days. <laughs> You're in bed for two yeah. days. I love that. I don't I, think you. I don't I think you're the man for the job. And that's some dust. What do you think this businessman's gonna do? Exactly. Who'd be permanent? Hide your appointment. Yeah. He'll hide your appointment. You found a lump, didn't you, on your testicle? Once we sat <laughs> in a doctor's waiting room, I remember for about forty minutes. You got minutes. up and checked out. It was fine. I think I went twice, didn't my I? Yeah, I point. said to the doctor at one point. I said, "Did you check round the back?" Yeah. I was thinking he hadn't checked it. Yeah. yeah. Oh dear. My, just because I hadn't found anything. My point is this: oh. you're something of Ivor Kondrak. You know <laughs> you're something of Ivor Kondrak. <laughs> you know that already. So. <laughs> Uh, Why do you think this is going to be any different? Wow! If you take a, when you take the first blow to the head, you take the punch, you'll immediately think that you've got some kind of you know brain disorder. No, I've always, and you'll be I've done always for, wanted to do it, but I just up. thought I just I wanted to make sure. I wanted to know that I definitely lost my looks. Right. And um, I've seen some of the publicity shots. I've got mirrors and mouths. So now, because I've definitely lost my looks now, I've got nothing to lose. Yeah. So I want you know maybe a younger, more handsome man. I want to teach him a <laughs> lesson. <laughs> Let me just. I'll end with this. <laughs> right. For people who listen to this show regularly, <laughs> yeah. you already sound like you're punch drunk. <laughs> All right, and that's just your natural way of talking. Please, let's not do the real thing. <laughs> oh, play a record. Oh, I mean, is it going to be televised? Uh, it, well, we could get it on DVD, maybe release All right, it. Now I'm interested. Okay, <laughs> is there money to be made? <laughs> yeah, not too much. Well, maybe we should talk about it. Okay. On XFM 104.9. You join us now live at, uh, Shippy Old People's Home, <laughs> where, uh, TV star Ricky Gervais <laughs> is taking on his first, uh, non-professional bout. Yeah. Um, Ricky, who are you fighting this evening? Uh, a bloke called Pete Smedley. <laughs> okay, Pete Smedley. How old is Pete? He's 72. 72 years old. Yeah, yeah, yeah And, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, you're very excited about the fight, I know. Yeah, he's, yeah, uh, yeah, Pete's yeah. just recovered from a massive coronary, hasn't he? Well, I don't want to get into that. He, he's <laughs> deemed himself fit, and, okay. uh, that's, that's good enough for me. <laughs> If he, if he wants to fight. Listen, right, someone just called up and said, uh, they're fighting me. He sounded such pretty, a bad pretty tasty. I said, how, how tall are you? He said, five foot eleven. I said, what do you weigh? He said, thirteen stone. I said, how old are you? Twenty-seven. Mm. I explained to him I'm looking for someone a lot older and smaller. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. A lot, lot older and smaller than Donna that. Stell. <laughs> If Don yeah. Stell from, uh, <coughs> what's it? <laughs> it ain't I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you now, Steve. Listen, yeah. no, it's just a sport. You know, mm. they go, oh, don't go into badminton, the shuttlecock can hurt your eye. <laughs> it's just a sport. Okay, fair enough. We'll, 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 we'll I'm sure, resume this conversation next week. Yeah. When, of course, we'll also be playing more of, uh, Carl's new brilliant game with prizes, hopefully. Yeah, yeah. Simon Mayo's What Is Carl <laughs> Thinking? <laughs> Absolutely. Um, I I'll leave you with a song for, uh, the ladies, Rick, if I may. Yeah. Uh, this is by, uh, my friend, uh, Harry, you may know, he sends me tr uh, tracks every so often that I should <laughs> listen to, and uh, this is a particular favourite of mine. Pretty please, and it's by Kevin Tahista's Red Terror. I don't know if I've pronounced that right. But enjoy that, and we'll uh, see you next week. Let's get ready to rumble. Hmm? <laughs>